Okay, hello everybody. So today we are going to make a summary about the things that we have been working in our class, okay? Literary Cultura. Remember that the main objective here is reading. So I'm going to show you the lesson plan that we have for this semester. Um, I took just some of them for you to practice and for you to read at home, okay? Because we don't have enough time to see each of them. The first text that we worked together was Death Speak. And this is a short story. So, I told you to read it and then I sent you questions and some activities to work with this. Okay? At the moment of reading any type of text, it is important that you look for the words that you don't know or you don't understand. You can use an online dictionary or a paper dictionary, but you have to look for the words that you don't know. And you can write here under the word the meaning of it. For example, if I don't know what is market, I look for it in an online dictionary and then I write the meaning in Spanish here, okay? It's a good way to understand the text. The second step is to read the sentence one by one. First, I'm going to read the first sentence and I'm going, I'm going to try to understand the sentence, okay? The main idea of the sentence. You're going to check the verb tense that you are using. Is it simple present, simple past? The text is in future, is in present continuous, any um, type of verb tense. Then you get the main idea of each paragraph, okay? And finally, you read the whole text many times until you understand the story, understand the main idea, so you can imagine the story too, okay? This is a good way to practice your reading. Remember that in this class we are going mainly to read, okay? So, apart from the short story, we are going to study poetry. Poetry is a little bit more entertaining because we are going to work with music, sorry, we worked with music and with poems, okay? And here we have an example of one poem that I sent you where we are going to um, look at the end rhymes, I mean to the final, to the last words, okay? We're going to look at that. And then we're going to check the rhyme scheme. The rhyme scheme that we have here is, for example, the first word with the second one. Then we have the first, the second, the first, the second, and we are going like that. For example, creation rhymes with pronunciation, verse with verse, busy with dizzy, and ter with prayer, okay? So we have here words that rhyme at the end of every line. This is our rhyme scheme that we have here but there are also many rhyme schemes. For example, we have here another rhyme scheme that is A, B, C, B. For example, death doesn't rhyme with any other word. Death doesn't rhyme with me, with ourselves, with immortality. No. Then we have me that rhymes with immortality. And then we have ourselves that doesn't rhyme with any other word. This is another rhyme scheme, okay? Only these two rhyme. Another example of rhyme scheme is this one. The first one rhymes with the third one and the second one with the number four. For example, sound rhymes with found and me rhymes with C. These are different 
rhyme schemes. Every poem, every song even, has its own rhyme scheme and you have to know them. Remember that at the moment of writing or completing a poem or creating a poem with a rhyme scheme that I send you, you have to look at the sound, at the pronunciation, not the word. The sound has to rhyme. Maybe the word is very different, but it rhymes. At that, it's important. The sound of the word, the pronunciation of the word, okay? Guys, remember that if there is something that you don't understand, you have to write me, okay? It is important that you send me your activities because only a few of you sent me the last activity. And I need to check that you're really working on it. So please write me if you don't understand something so I can help you. Or if you already did your activity, you will solve the exercises, you send them to me, to my email, okay? Bye-bye.